Hey guys, what's going on? It is Ash here coming at you today in Clash Royale with Sneak Peek 1 of the newest update in the game. Before we get to that, did you guys see this photo here? The second card to the right on the bottom row there is a new card indeed and it looks to be official as it was tweeted out by Clash Royale's official account. For now, it's just speculation what that card may be. I'm sure you can have some educated guesses based on the artwork, but nothing I can share officially right Right now, stay tuned to the channel as I will show you it as soon as I'm able to via this developer build that we're on right now because it's sneak peek one time. By the way, flashing up the uh, balance changes that were announced yesterday as well in case you missed those. Notably, we're looking at a nerf to Ice Spirit and Inferno Tower and a buff to Ice Golem, Rage, and Lumberjack. So starting with sneak peek one, I'll give my opinions in future videos about those balance changes. There wasn't a lot in this round but I do want to get to the new content for you guys and the first one here is something that is very minor but definitely needed to be addressed I'm sure that most of you will agree with me except for those maybe using the exploit and the reason that we're on the friends tab right now is because they fixed the exploit there where you were able to signal to your friend how much elixir their opponent had live in a match uh, via the confetti so basically using like confetti more code in the middle of a match to let your friend know how much elixir they were going against and when the opportune time to make a push would be. They've removed that making it impossible to do so because you can now no longer see what the opponent's enemy has in terms of elixir. So next on the agenda, this sneak peek, as you can see here, some funky card levels going on, but you'll note level 1 Witch, level 1 opponent also has level 1 Fireball, etc, etc. But now when you go into a friendly match, card levels are all going to be standardized to the tournament levels, meaning if your cards are under leveled, they're going to be bumped up. If your cards are over leveled, naturally they will be downgraded to meet the tournament standards as well. Now, now guys, reminder, for now, at least, this is only for friendly battles. So this does not apply to tournament card levels or to the grand or classic challenge card levels. However, I think it would be really cool if they consider doing something like that at some point in the future. Oh, next up in this sneak peek, some of you savvy viewers might have noticed that my opponent has been totally BMing me this whole match up until now, and then he stopped recently for about 10 or 15 seconds. Well, he didn't stop, guys. Now the mute feature actually works. You can't see when they're trying to communicate with you. It's totally muted now, so that's another addition. Oh, by the way, a fun little side note, I saw on one of Eclipse's Mythbuster episodes that you can reset your taunt limit by going ahead and hard hard exiting your game and then rejoining. So last on the list guys today is that they finally increased the minimum trophy requirement. Now I know that probably only affects less than 1% of you guys watching right now, but trust me, you're going to want this in the future. We currently get spammed with requests. Our clan minimum required trophies is at 4,600 and we're spammed all day because it's so low at 3,000, 1,600 off of our minimum requirements. So it's good that they upped that to 4,000 right now in game. And guys, that's going to be it for Sneak Peek 1. Stay tuned to my channel for Sneak Peek uh, 2 and maybe 3 and so on. So guys, before I let you go, make sure you let me know in the comments what do you think this new card is going to be? Do you think it's legit or do you think it's some kind of a Photoshop? Me personally, I kind of think it's legit because Clash Royale official did share it after all. I think they're just trying to build a little hype, but we'll have to wait and see. So guys, thanks so much for watching, and as always, take care, guys.